Welcome back. Now in business news, for the first time in its history since gaining independence, the Solomon Islands government has reported a significant budget deficit of 1.5 billion in 2023. The increased spending primarily to boost economic recovery and host the 17th Pacific Games in Honiara has led to the depletion of cash reserves. Georgina Kikia has more. Over the past years, the country faced economic challenges and was only able to manage the finance deficit through support from development partners, domestic borrowings and additional revenue measures. Criticising the government, former opposition leader Mati Wale said this need not have happened had the government prioritised the country's people and economy more. You know, the, unfortunately, the side, side, side line, you have 15,000 kids come out of school with little or non-existent, nil hope of finding a job. And this really is a very serious situation. The government's never taken it seriously. Okay, tell them take them seriously. But if we take them seriously, policy would change. And the way to measure job creation um, would have already been in existing, a mechanism for it, an office to monitor it and also. So far, I thing every year at PAC level, but also in parliament, I would raise the issue and say we have to have a capacity within finance ministry of finance to know how many jobs are being created if that is important to us as a government that's never been done because it's never been important to him or the government but defending the government caretaker prime minister manasi Songovare said the democratic coalition government for advancement has implemented more reforms than any other government in the history of the solomon islands this government has is probably the only government that comes through some very major 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 reform uh, fundamental reforms land reform is still ongoing consultations is happening throughout the country one of them that's all reform by the and open him land throughout the countries and people buy with him, you know. We are reforming the tax system of the country. Big, big reform. That reform will see the abrogation of a number of tax bases and then by adopting what we call him the value added tax. That will reduce the, the cost of government. Then he may address him the cost of utility. He may directly put him in reforms to, re to reduce the, uh, the, the cost of electricity the cost of water. Those are very important costs for, for business, yeah? And develop this for, for attracting uh, genuine investors. In Parliament last year, caretaker Finance Minister Hari Kuma said after three years of increased spending, the government aims to bring back the budget back to a fully funded and balanced state in 2024 and onwards. The road ahead is not easy. We are in for the long haul and our journey to grow the economy and tackle the many challenges we face will span many generations. The theme for the 2024 budget is restoring fiscal stability to sustain growth. The 2024 budget strives to achieve two objectives to strengthen the resilience to achieve sustainable and economic growth and to further strengthen delivery of service to people in rural areas. The government is currently in caretaker mode. Gina Kekea, Tavoli News. In December, the Central Bank of Solomon Islands reported a slight increase in the monthly price index from 128 to 130 points. Now, this indicates changes in the prices of important consumer items, giving us a glimpse into the economic situation at the end of the year. The MPI went up mainly due to shifts in the prices of key products, notably the 40-pound bag of sole rice, increased by $2, now costing $152.20. Betel nut prices rose by $0.42, cents, averaging at $3 per nut. Domestic electricity tariffs increased by 32 cents, reaching $8.32 per kilowatt per hour. LP gas prices remained steady at $28.30 per kilogram. Despite several items seeing an increase, fuel prices went down by 59 cents, settling at $11.38 per litre. 
This decrease in fuel costs might bring relief to consumers and impact transportation expenses. The detailed breakdown of the MPI gives us a comprehensive view of the economic factors in play in the country. And that ends our business news coming up after the break is sports.